It's more around representation. You know, I know in Hollywood, we talk a lot about, you know, the power of culture and representation and whatnot. You know, it, it means a lot for young kids to see themselves, especially black kids, to see themselves on screen in movies like Black Panther, you know, um, rest in power, Chadwick, you know, because none of that would be yeah. you know, possible without him. Um, so when, when people see, you know, you know, you two guys on the screen, you know, who, who look at you guys as real life superheroes, uh, young and old, you know, I felt some of that responsibility, you know, because we also see it as power, but it's also opportunity, you know, the places that we, that, that, that we're able to reach and, you know, the, the platforms that we're able to, to, to be on. So can you talk about what it means to you, you know, how, how, and how you guys would use your superpowers to create a uh, real, real change? Well, well, look, I, uh, I, I will just say this. I, I, I am old. I'm significantly older than I think the, the, the other three of you guys. So uh, I can recall a time in which uh, if you were a person of color on the screen, you were going to be the help. You were going to be immediately. A, 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 a bit part somewhere. Uh, you know, there were maybe a handful of folks, Sidney Poitier, Diane Carroll, mm. you know, who you might see on the screen. Uh, in a dignified role, uh, and and so of course that's important, um, and you know Michelle and I took very seriously the fact that you know as the first African American first family, we wanted uh, people to draw some sense that they could raise their horizons and not somehow feel as if there was anything out of bounds for a young black boy or a young black girl that there's that, that they are able to do everything just like you know when you have a black astronaut you have a black engineer you've got a a, a, a black movie star you have a a, a, a black uh, uh, you know tech entrepreneur so that's important I want to say though that it's also important not just for the african-american child to see, it's important for all Americans to see. It's not just important for us to see a potential woman vice president for young girls. It's important for young boys to see a female vice president so that they understand that uh, you know, your worth, your power, your voice, your capacity for mm -hmm. leadership is not gender based. It's important for us to see uh, Hispanic leaders and Asian American leaders and, and LGBTQ leaders, not just for the people who directly identify with those folks, but for people who aren't Asian American to know, you know, I, I've got an Asian American mayor, they're doing a great job. So, because what happens when we when we see everybody having opportunity, and what we is that it helps to cure us of our own biases. Uh, it's not just that it reinforces our sense of power. It also helps us to see other people the way we should have seen them all along, as as equal and worth and dignity and capacity, as 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 you know, uh, endowed with, with the rights and duties and responsibilities of citizenship in this country as anybody else. Uh, and, and, and that's why I think it's so important um, because it breaks us all out of that kind of mindset that says, you got to look a certain way, you got to be a certain way, you've got to be a certain gender, you've got to be a, a certain color in order to achieve. Um, and, 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 you know, the good news is for our young folks out there, I think they're getting past that, the culture yeah. moving past that. But, you know, if you take a look at the U.S. Senate, where both Kamala and I served, it's clear that we're not there yet. Uh, we got a ways to go. Uh, and, and, and that's true in almost every institution. I should add, by the way, that when you see the public sector is starting to see better representation. Oftentimes that helps to lead to the private sector asking some tough questions. And 
when you look at corporate leadership and when you look at uh, leadership in, of, of large non-for-profits, uh, it's not just, you know, government representation that we want to see. Uh, and, and, and hopefully when we have uh, a, a Biden-Harris administration, uh, one thing I'm confident about is they'll have the kind of representation uh, as we had in our, uh, in our cabinet and administration that, that meant everybody said, we're, we're all a part of this. We're all part of the American family. We got a big conception of what the American family should be, not a narrow one. There aren't some people who are real Americans and others who are not. We're, we're all uh, sitting at the table and, 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 and all worthy of, uh, of respect and, and, and having a voice. Senator. So to add to what the president said, um, you know, we each and, and probably a whole lot of folks who are on this Zoom um, have had the experience of being the only one like you in a room. Um, the only one who looks like you or has had your life experience. And I think part of the importance of elevating the images of who can do what and, and perhaps challenging notions about who can do what is to also remind people who are on that path that they are not alone. Uh, because I, and I will speak to, to folks on that point, which is that you may often be the only one like you in that room because it, it, we are still in a process of breaking barriers. To the president's point, um, I'm only the second black woman in the history of the United States Senate to serve there. And currently I'm the only black woman in a body of 100 people um, who serves in the United States Senate. So I say that to say that for each person who is motivated or inspired by any of, of the accomplishments we have achieved, always remember that you are not alone. Even if looking around the room, it might feel that way. Mm -hmm. um, always remember that when you are in that room, we are all in that room with you. Always remember that when you are in that room, you carry the voices of so many of us with you in that room. And so chin up, shoulders back, use that voice, know the power of that voice. And it is the power to also break those barriers, it will not be easy. But as we all know, and I think have been raised, each one quote one, right? My mother had many sayings. One of them, she would say to me, Kamala, you may be the first to do many things, make sure you're not the last. And I think that's also the, 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 the responsibility that we carry um, when, we, when we redefine the images of who can do what, is to, to make it clear that it is so much bigger than any one of us, it is about all of us and expanding um, the horizon in terms of people's thoughts about who can do what, but also opening the door wider so that, so that more can enter. And, and, and to emphasize the president's point, knowing that it is about inspiration for all of us and really has so much to do with the spirit of who we are as a country, which is always fighting for what can be unburdened by what has been. So thank you, Michael, for that. And, and Mr. President, thank you always.